two or three out. These bodies are stacked up like. The sniper looked at me and he's like, do you want him dead? He's like, do you want him dead, sir? We hold the ultimate punishment for somebody who kills another person. And then one day they gather you all together and they say, hey, go over there and go kill those people. We use psychology to develop ways to efficiently train people how to kill. We haven't applied that same research and emphasis on how to help people kind of best deprogram that. There has to be as much thought about returning to society as there is about sending to war. I was deployed at the outset of the Iraq invasion in 2003, so I was part of a, a field hospital that provided neuropsychiatric services to people coming off the battlefield. One of the things I did, I went and surveyed 133 military mental health providers. See, so people like me who wore uniforms, psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers. I was just asking how many had been trained specifically on how to diagnose and treat PTSD. And 90% had not received specific training. They come back and sometimes they've lost everything. With, you know, life altering events, when they come back, their behavior is going to be changed. This person that's here isn't the person that you started out with. I was 29 when I was a commander, and I'm putting them in these incredibly violent and crazy situations. So I'm raising them, and this is how they're growing up. I grew up, and my heart had hardened, um, not towards people, per se, but towards myself. The dominant treatment, if you would, of the military's treatment of war stress injury is this frontline psychiatry. We return people back to combat until they're incapacitated, where they're so broken they're a threat to themselves or others, and that you can't rehabilitate them. Right? You can't be safely put back to front lines. My soldier got into an argument with his wife, went in the bedroom, locked her out, and shot himself in the head. We know exactly how many days it takes somebody to break down in combat. It takes like 220 days. Think about our deployments. We got people going over for you know a year, six months. They're on their fourth or fifth deployment. We well exceed that. We know now exactly what happens to the brain. PTSD just robs you of who you are. President Roosevelt mandated in 1944 that every soldier would come back. They would go through a mandatory re-entry program. There's a blueprint. And the question is, well, why do we forget it? We're reinventing the wheel every generation at a great, tremendous loss of resources and, and a great expense, right? Human level and financial level. And we need not do that. This is not a battle that can be fought alone. No. And without the proper help, I don't think you got a prayer in hell. No, you don't. We owe it to him. I mean, if nothing else, we owe it to him.